I'm Professor Leanne Simons. Hopefully you've seen this face before and I want to go over the syllabus with you. This will be information that I want you to look at for the first day of class because rather than take time to go over the syllabus, I want to take that time to talk to you. So without further ado, let me share my screen. So this is where announcements will be posted. Hopefully you watched my intro and that you've been staying safe. Next, we'll look at the syllabus. Uh, but before I go there, let me just tell you, if you want to see what people have thought of the class before you, have a look at these. I made a OneNote syllabus for this semester. I've never done this before, so if you have any comments, I will really be interested in what you have to say. Here are course basics, our classroom, our office hours. Everything will be through this Zoom link. Here's the ID and the password. This is a summary of our course, what we're going to be covering this semester, student learning outcomes, and course materials. There is no textbook for this class, but there is a lot of information on Blackboard and we'll have a look at it shortly. I also want you to become familiar with Poll Everywhere. I'd like you to download this app to your phone or your laptop. We will be using it in pretty much every class. You'll sign in using your last name first initial. My username is chocolate and there will be a couple of questions on the videos that you were supposed to watch for class that day. It counts towards your engagement grade and it kind of keeps you up on the materials that we're covering. Then on Blackboard, as I'll go over shortly, there'll be videos to watch, information to read, occasionally podcasts to listen to, and cocktail chatter. Cocktail chatter is not required for class, but is for your personal edification. I listen to a podcast called Slate Political Gab Fest, and they always end with cocktail chatter, that one piece of information that you want to share with your friends while you're having cocktails, if you're over 21, of course. This will supplement class materials. It doesn't replace materials. And if you ever want to know if something's on an exam that I'm covering, instead of saying, is this on the test? Ask me, is this cocktail chatter? Information about me, again, the Zoom link, my email address. Office hours are Tuesdays and Thursdays before class. But since I'm pretty much around all the time, you can send me an email and we can set up an appointment to get together. This picture, let me zoom in on it, is taken in Silfra National Park in Iceland, snorkeling between two tectonic plates. I hope to go back there again sometime and snorkel between Northern Europe and North America. This is a place where you can actually drink the water that comes into your goggles because it's fresh water. It's glacial runoff. Okay, enough of that. Here's the daily syllabus. We have the dates, the topics, the discussion, an overview of the discussion, and the assignments for that class. The most important word that's about to be put on this page is tentative, all right? If something comes up, if a cure for COVID appears, if there's something incredible happening and we wanna talk about it, we will talk about it. I used to have this second topic, infection and immunity, in the middle of the semester, but as I may have said, global events dictated that that must be moved up in the syllabus after critical thinking skills are reviewed. So if something else comes up, yes, of course we must cover it. The one date that will not change will be the exam. We have an exam on March 9th, and as I said, one during finals week, whenever that is, but we'll talk about that. So that's the daily syllabus. I also have a checklist that I want you to sign and email. Well, no, you don't have to email it back to me. I think you can submit it under assignments. I want you to read this checklist, save it to your desktop, send it, uh, sign it and send it to me. I don't care how you sign it. You can just type your name, that's fine. Um, but just make sure I get it because then I know that, that you have read this, okay? And it's required that you send it back to me. Next, we have grading and deliverables. I will show you these assignments on Blackboard, but let's have a quick look. The exams, each one, you have two exams. They will be worth 15% each for 30% of your final grade. And they're short answers. They're, of course, take home. You'll have two days to complete them. 
other deliverables, which again, we'll review in class. We'll look at assignments on Blackboard. There are four homework assignments that you should do for this semester. Each one is worth 5% of your final course grade. Two of them, everybody will do the family tree and the eating disorders collage. And two of them, you may choose from any of the topics that we're covering. I will have you sign up for current events. You will sign up for two current events. They can be news articles, health claims, anything that you are interested in. The purpose of this is to get us to have you work on those critical thinking skills. Is this diet going to help you lose weight in five minutes? Will this pill cure Alzheimer's? There's a lot of misinformation out there and we need to work. 15% of your grade is on, from a presentation that you will do that I call To Your Good Health. Basically, we're just kind of covering the surface of these different topics. And I want you to sign up for another topic that you want to go into more detail with. You'll be with three to five people. You'll have to give me some references and then you will present in class. Of course, we'll go over this. This is the rubric for course engagement. I know people can't come to every class and just coming to class isn't enough to show that you are engaged. I know that there will be internet issues, health issues, and I don't want you to worry that if you don't come to class, you're going to have a major impact on your course grade. So please have review this. Yes, attendance is important, but also participation. Journals we'll talk about shortly and professionalism. These are deliverables. This section are university policies. Here are university resources, All right? So here are our course policies, the attendance policy, Zoom protocols. I'd like you to have your cameras on in each class. Perhaps you have a background that you can share. Hmm, I have some backgrounds that are not just Hogwarts that I might use. And I want you to have access to course materials. If you have any problems with any of these, please let me know. All right, let's go back to Blackboard. This is the course documents section with all of the topics we'll be covering this semester. Each one has a folder. This particular topic, psychological health, watch, read, listen, as well as cocktail chatter. There will be videos for you to watch, information to read, and cocktail chatter. Ooh, lots of cocktail chatter on this one. Remember, this is not required but it may be of interest to you. On Blackboard, this is where the assignments will be found. Here's where I want you to sign up for your current events. Padlets, I'll talk more about. Here's some leftover Padlets from last semester. Um, these are part of your engagement grade where you will post questions or comments and we'll cover them in class. This is where you can submit your course checklist. Here's the rubric to be used to calculate your 25% of your final course grade. Here is where you will submit your weekly journals. And as each week comes up, they will be made available. In just one or two paragraphs, I ask you to let me know how the week went, what content you like, what was interesting, what might influence you and your healthcare decisions in the future. These are due by 5 p.m. on Sunday following class. To your good health, the assignment that's worth 15% of your grade. You will sign up for a particular topic. I need at least four people in a group in order for it to run. If there are four of you who want to cover a topic that's not on here, that's fine. Just get in touch with me. And these are deadlines. Again, we'll go over these for you to meet for this particular assignment. I want you to submit your topics by the 2nd of March, your references by March 11th, and I need to speak with you or somebody in your group by March 23rd because I have information that I will give you when we get together and it's part of my keeping in touch with you. Here's a review of the dates for this assignment. And here are the different assignments for most of the topics that we're covering. So I said everybody has to do the family tree, which is part of health, genes, and family history, as well as the eating disorder collage when we discuss body image and eating disorders. For the other two assignments, you can pick any of these, right? Ones that may be of interest to you. If you are interested in nutrition, you can do the my plate assignment. If you are interested in sleep, 
You can do the sleep assignment. These assignments are generally something for you to read or something for you to look at and write one to two pages on what you learned from what you read or the interactive assignment that you were asked to look at. They are due one week after completion of the topic. And these are all the topics. Oh my. What else do I have here? Zoom class information because I apparently can't give you that information too much. Oh, except I haven't put it in yet. Well, I've only gone over it like four times. Flipgrid. Hopefully you will post a Flipgrid. So I think that's about it for the syllabus. So I'll see you in class. Thanks.